This preview video is about the status bar at the bottom of your screen, and that's where the controls are easily accessed. The controls regulate the stitching process like speed and SPI, and they affect how the quilt groups look and respond like grid, snap, and zoom. I am in standalone mode right now, so some of mine are grayed out, but if you were attached to the stitcher head, then yours wouldn't be. The first one is speed, and it's based on a scale of 1 to 20. So about 10 to 13 is a good speed to start with, and you can adjust it depending on your pattern and if it has a lot of curves or if it comes to a point, you can change that. The SPI, which is stitches per inch, the stitch size is displayed, and this can be changed while stitching also. The grid refers to the background grid lines, and they can be resized or turned off. So right now I have them on with the screen indicator. And if I snap them off, it has a white background. But it's handy to have on if you're drawing patterns or whatever so that you know you're right on the same line. I can adjust the size of them to whatever size I like. Next we have snap. And when it's turned on, the pattern nodes can be aligned to endpoints of other patterns or the grid. So right now I have them turned off. And if I come up here to draw a line, I can click anywhere on my screen and it's not going to tell me any different. I can right click and get out of it. But if I turn my snap on by either hitting the S on the keyboard or I can use my left mouse to click on it and I have a little pink dot that follows me. But notice it only goes to the corner of the grid. So when I left click it is only going to snap to those corners. It's not going to allow me to go anywhere but the corners. and then I can right click to get out of it. Next we have zoom and it refers to how large the background grid currently is. The carrot shows additional choices for resizing or setting the screen size to 100. So I can zoom in or I can use my little carrot here and say zoom to 100. Next we have the channel lock and it can be turned on, off, or changed to a different angle setting. Again, mine is grayed out because I'm not attached to a head. X and Y grid coordinates refer to the current position of the stitcher, and that's where you will have your crosshairs, and it'll show you exactly where you are. And that's the preview of the status bar. There are more in-depth videos on each one of these sections in the manual.